One of the things I admire the most about millennials is that the ability for community, right? I think okay. that millennials have this thing about community, and it reminds me of the 60s where folks actually cared about what goes on in society. And I think mm -hmm. a lot of millennials today care about, they care about the environment, they care about social issues. Uh, they even care about work-life balance more, right? They, it's not this generation where people just want to work 25 hours a day. They care about balancing their life out mm -hmm. uh, to be more, uh, to have time to themselves and also to live a more balanced life. And I think that's something admirable. I think that part of the challenge we have is this, what I call, the overuse of the word impact, right? So now if you ask me that question, you just ask me. Uh -huh. If you ask me this question a year ago, I'll tell you yes. But now I think the answer is no. The, my, my reason is not to have impact on anybody. My reason is to have impact in the space I'm in and okay. allow that to transform other people. Because I feel like if, if you focus too much on the impact you're going to have, you're always thinking of the future, but you're not living in the present. And so I think it's very important for you to build an ecosystem around you that actually impacts things around you today. First yourself, your family, your community, and then the rest will follow, right? As opposed to saying that I am going to change the world. Well, change yourself first. Okay. Right? Change yourself first, then change your house, then change your neighborhood, then sort of the multiply effects. I think all of us in our journey, wherever we are in life, we are still sort of trying to figure that out. And ultimately, that's to answer the question of life is how, how do I position it? But I think part of what you're asking me is sort of also how, how do you monetize some of these things and how do you create this ecosystem around Yes. You, right? Um, I think, first of all, like I said earlier, what do you care about? Right? I don't do anything I don't care about. I don't work with anyone I don't, I don't like. I don't work with anyone that I don't feel like brings something to the table. So first of all, what do you care about? What are you passionate about? Over the last few years, and, and as a human being, those things evolve, right? Uh, there was a time when I had no interest in fashion and social media, and now I do, because I see how social media and fashion impacts society and how it impacts different people. Uh, but I think, figure out what, what your passion is, first of all. Figure out what you care, and then figure out who in your ecosystem can help you get there. And if you don't have those guys and people in your ecosystem, who in the second degree of your ecosystem can help you get there? And then start building something around it. A, a lot of times, people tend to be a bit too afraid to start new things because they're scared. Mm -hmm. You know what? For me, it's a bit different. You jump in and ask questions later, right? I, I, I figure that if I jump in the pool and I know how to swim, eventually there's one of two things that I have. It's, it's very binary. Mm -hmm. I either sink or swim. Uh, there's, yeah. no, <laughs> there's no black or white. There's black or white. And I think that the, the more you allow yourself to put yourself out there, the more also people see you as someone they can trust to work with, and the more people can see you as someone who's more daring. Um, then I think it can help create the ecosystem. And you can build it slowly. You build with first your community, whether it's family or friends or whatever. And then I also recommend that you go outside of that. Mm. Who outside of your ecosystem, who outside of your circle of friends or family or whatever, is also has the ability to provide you what you're looking for, either by through research that you've done, either through um, people that you met at a conference, either through wh whatever means, and start attracting those people around you. Because the more you attract successful people around you, the more you build a wider ecosystem. Because you want the ecosystem to be as wide as possible, but more importantly, it has to be trusting, right? Trust is a very important thing in business, right? Mm. You, know, you have to make sure that there's a very trusting ecosystem, that people in that circle are very tight, they're very trusting, and they're growing together. And if they believe that, and that comes from you, they will see and feel it. One thing I tell people is that, if, if you give your life the right ingredients, it's almost like a graph. The graph will always trend to the right. Now, there's sometimes it'll bubble, you know, like some volatility, but it's okay. But over, at the end, the idea is that you want the graph to go as right as you can. So that's how I've tried to live my life. But ultimately, if you don't know how to operationally activate what you're doing in a way that makes sense, in a way that's concise, if you don't know how many, if you work at a, if you're a barber, uh -huh. and you don't know how much stuff you put in somebody's hair, right? How many, how many of those quads go in a bottle go in somebody's hair? You're not doing the right thing. Right, so do you know your business to the detail that is so precise that no one can ever take that away from you as a business owner?